too bad that Frankie Balthazar can't fight as an orthodox fighter or jab with that left hand because if he could turn around, he'd take that right eye out of the range of many of those shots. A la Mar Marvin Hagler, huh? Oh, uh, nobody does it like Marvelous Marvin. Turns around, you talk about changing strategy. Throwing the opposition off guard. Now Escobar closing in. Balthazar's had some of his toughest moments when he's gotten back on the ropes. That time I thought he moved back to the ropes on purpose. He really looked like he knew what he was doing there. He's trying to draw Escobar so he can counter shot him. Just like that. Friday night boxing on USA. And we'll come right back. Getting set for the tenth and final round. And we have Juan Escobar on the right. Frankie Baldazar, who is obscured right now. His dad working on him right now, trying to get him ready for this final round. As it looks right now, it's just about an even fight. Early rounds going to Escobar, a lot of rounds going to Balazar. And that last round, very, very close. We could come down to a split the way it looks right now. It could very well be on my unofficial scorecard. I've now got Frankie Balazar winning the last five rounds of the fight. Oh, Escobar's let it go. It's like a baseball team that's up four to nothing and then giving up one run apiece, going right down the stretch and losing it. Escobar has blown this fight. But a good fight, though. She has some good strategy, some good punching, and some very professional moves by both these young men. Baldazar from the mid-rounds on, doing some good work inside and then coming up on top with some good combinations. What brought him back into this fight after being down 4 nothing is that, that you just saw there, the right hooks and the right jabs. He's been working the body well, then he switches right up to the head. Referee right in this one, doing a good job, Dr. James Jin King. Escobar is tired. He can't throw those combinations the way he was seven, eight rounds ago, but yet Balthazar is. He's putting shots together. Escobar still has that good counter. That drop back and that counter right. But his legs don't appear to be in the kind of shape that Balthazar's are. He's really slowed down noticeably from the mid-rounds on. Well, Frankie wasn't kidding around with me earlier when he said, listen, I saw Tony fight that fight against Howard Davis. It inspired me. He got paid a lot of money for it. And I want to give it one last shot, and I'm not going to do it half-heartedly. I want it. And he's been working as if he wants it. Escobar had been considered by many to be somewhat of a sleeper because he had been relatively unknown. Unbelievable that Escobar's face is unmarked. Yeah. He's taking his share of shots tonight, too. Well, that's one quality he has that might carry him away. <laughs> he's got that alligator skin. Well, he doesn't cut easily. And now, Baldazar starting to bleed from the nose. You know what I think that's from? That could have been from a butt. These guys' heads have been coming together, and it could very well be that the nose of Baldazar might be broken. He goes back to the corner every round, and they squeeze on that nose at the bridge of the nose. They squeeze on it. Oh, boy. And there it is, that right hand that he's been using for the past six rounds. The hook slashed open the left eye of Escobar. The blood is pouring down. That's the first mark we've seen. And they're going to let it go with 22 seconds to fight here in the 10th round. Another good right by Balthazar. Missing with the left. One more good shot by Balthazar, I believe, could end the fight. Escobar's on rubbery legs. Down to seven seconds. And we'll be back with a decision on our Friday night boxing and our second fight after this from your local system. We are awaiting the decision on a very interesting fight. And the fans, in a sign of appreciation, are starting to throw money in the ring. And I forgot my hat, Randy. Isn't that nice? And there it is, that right hook knockdown. It not only knocked Escobar down, it ripped open his left eyebrow. And I do believe, at least on my scorecard, that Frankie Balthazar has won the fight, despite the fact he lost the first four rounds of the fight. Look at his right eye. Well, I'll never win the Robert Redford look-alike contest like that. Oh, Boy, but the is. fans continue to throw money into the ring. I have... I really wish I could see that back in New York. Well, here's a the quarter. They throw other things. Yeah, yeah, you just got a quarter. Let me see you throw that in the ring. I just made an extra quarter. 
Let's go to the ring. And Jimmy Lennon Jr. right now with the decision. Well, fans, in this fine 10 round feature event, we have a split decision. Judging at ringside, Rudy Jordan scores at 96 95 Escobar. Referee in charge, Dr. James Jenkins, scores at 95-94, Balthazar. The deciding ballot cast by Vince Delgado, scores at 96-94, in favor of the split decision winner, Frankie Balthazar. Frankie Baldazar in a split decision. And Friday night boxing is coming your way on the USA.